coordinates of points and distance. Observe the following number line. Here, the point D on the number line denotes the number 1. So, it is said that 1 is the coordinate of point D. The point B denotes the number minus 3 on the line. Hence, the coordinate of point B is minus 3. Similarly, the coordinates of point A and E are minus 5 and 3 respectively. The point E is 2 unit away from point D. It means the distance between points D and E is 2. Thus, we can find the distance between two points on a number line by counting number of units. The distance between points A and B on the above number line is also 2. Now, let us see how to find distance with the help of coordinates of points. To find the distance between two points, consider their coordinates and subtract the smaller coordinate from the larger. The coordinates of points D and E are 1 and 3 respectively. We know that 3 is greater than 1. The distance between points E and D is denoted as distance of E D. Distance between points E and D is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. This is the same as the length of ED, that is the length of the segment ED. Similarly, distance DE is equal to 2. Similarly, distance CD is equal to 1 minus of minus 2, which is equal to 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. Therefore, distance CD is equal to length of CD is equal to 3. Similarly, distance of DC is equal to 3. Now, let us find distance AB. The coordinate of A is minus 5 and that of B is minus 3. Minus 3 is greater than minus 5. Therefore, distance of AB is equal to minus 3 minus of minus 5, which is equal to minus 3 plus 5, which is equal to 2. From the above examples, it is clear that the distance between two distinct points is always a positive number. Note that if the two points are not distinct, then the distance between them is zero. Let's learn. Betweenness. If P, Q, R are three distinct collinear points, there are three possibilities. One, point Q is between P and R. Two, Point R is between P and Q. 3. Point P is between R and Q. If distance of PQ plus distance of QR is equal to distance of PR, then it is said that point Q is between P and R. The betweenness is shown as P dash Q dash R. Solved examples. Example 1. On a number line, Points A, B and C are such that distance of AB is equal to 5, distance of BC is equal to 11 and distance of AC is equal to 6. Which of the points is between the other two? Solution, which of the points A, B and C is between the other two can be decided as follows. Let us show the points on number line according to given information. Distance of BC is equal to 11, equation 1. Distance of AB plus distance of AC is equal to 5 plus 6 is equal to 11, equation 2. Therefore, distance of BC is equal to distance of AB plus distance of AC from equation 1 and 2. Point A is between point B and point C. Practice set 1.1. 1. .1. 1. Find the distances with the help of the number line given below. Distance between points B and E. Answer. The coordinates of points B and E are 2 and 5 respectively. We know that 5 is greater than 2. Therefore, distance between points E and B is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, distance between points B and E is equal to 3. 2. Distance between points J and A. Answer. The coordinates of points J and A are minus 2 and 1 
respectively. We know that 1 is greater than minus 2. Therefore, distance between AJ is equal to 1 minus minus of 2, which is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, distance between points J and A is equal to 3, 2. If the coordinate of A is X and that of B is Y, find distance of A and B. 1. X is equal to 1. Y is equal to 7. Answer. Here the coordinate of A is 1 and that of B is 7. 7 is greater than 1. Therefore, distance between points A and B is equal to 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, distance between A and B is equal to 6. 2. X is equal to 6. Y is equal to minus 2. Answer. Here the coordinate of A is 6 and that of B is minus 2. 6 is greater than minus 2. Therefore, the distance between points A and B is 6 minus of minus 2 which is equal to 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, distance between points A and B is equal to 8. Let's learn conditional statements and converse. The statements which can be written in the if-then form are called conditional statements. The part of the statement following if is called the antecedent and the part following then is called the consequent. For example, consider the statement the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. The statement can be written in the conditional form as if the given quadrilateral is a rhombus then its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. If the antecedent and consequent in a given conditional statement are interchanged, the resulting statement is called the converse of the given statement. If a conditional statement is true, the converse is not necessarily true. Study the following examples. Conditional statement. If a quadrilateral is a rhombus, then its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Converse. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral are perpendicular bisectors of each other, then it is a rhombus. In the above example, the statement and its converse are true. Now consider the following example. Conditional statement. If a number is a prime number, then it is even or odd. Converse. If a number is even or odd, then it is a prime number. In this example, the statement is true but its converse is false. Let's learn. Proofs. We have studied many properties of angles, triangles and quadrilaterals through activities. In this standard, we are going to look at the subject of geometry with a different point of view, which was originated by the Greek mathematician Euclid, who lived in the 3rd century before Christian era. He gathered the knowledge of geometry prevailing at his time and streamlined it. He took for granted some self-evident geometrical statements which were accepted by all and called them postulates. He showed that on the basis of the postulates, some more properties can be proved logically. Properties proved logically are called theorems. Some of Euclid's postulates are given below. 1. There are infinite lines passing through a point. 2. There is one and only one line passing through two points. 3. A circle of given radius can be drawn taking any point as its center. 4. All right angles are congruent with each other. 5. If two interior angles formed on one side of a transversal of two lines add up to less than two right angles, then the lines produced in that direction intersect each other. We have verified some of these postulates through activities. A property is supposed to be true if it can be proved logically. It is then called a theorem. The logical argument made to prove a theorem is called its proof. When we are going to prove that a conditional statement is true, its antecedent is called given part and the consequent is called the part to be proved. There are two types of proofs direct and indirect. Let us give a direct proof of the property of angles 
made by two intersecting lines. Problem set 1. 1. Select the correct alternative from the answers of the questions given below. 1. How many midpoints does a segment have? A. Only 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. Many Answer A. Only 1 2. How many points are there in the intersection of two distinct lines? A. Infinite B. 2 C. 1 D. Not a single Answer C. 1 3. How many lines are determined by three distinct points? A. 2 B. 3 C. 1 or 3 D. 6 Answer C. 1 or 3 अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें